This is Danielle from Our Roaming Hearts, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Hunsaders Farms Pumpkin Festival. Let's check it out. When you enter Hunsader Farms Pumpkin Festival through the main parking lot, you enter through gates one and two. That brings you into the petting zoo, which seems to be a family favorite. I kept hearing kids asking over and over to go back to the petting zoo. They had all sorts of animals. The favorite seems to be these little baby pigs that were constantly looking for food. They had emus and kangaroos, tortoises, donkeys, goats. They even had a little baby pen of animals that were adorable. You could buy food to feed them if you wished. They also had other smaller animals like peacocks and, and iguanas in other areas of the petting zoo. This petting zoo fee is included in your festival ticket. If you come in through gate one, you are close to all the festival games, including pumpkin bowling and your traditional midway games that you would see at a fair. Then next, you can enter the Native American area where they have a teepee that you can go and take pictures with and you can actually go into. And it smells. Smells good, right? Questionable, okay. They have many vendors there that are very hands-on and teaching you about the different traditions from tanning and smoking the hides and how they make beaded jewelry. My kids got to actually be hands-on and make some of the beaded designs and learned about the different designs and what they were used for. Um, so this would have been on the shirt of a brave. This would have gone down the side of a legging on a warrior. That would have been a headband or else an armband. And this was used um, like money. They used because the shells were so valuable because each one had to be um, hand drilled out. There was a woman making yarn from wool using a traditional foot pedal spindle. The kids loved watching her. There was another woman making a woven chair seat. As you can see there, my kids loved the different designs that they could do. There was a blacksmith shop where he was able to do personalized horseshoes and he would give several demonstrations. He had several items for sale such as this horseshoe cross which was absolutely beautiful. And then you come along to the vendor section. This is a lot of homemade items, foods, handmade items, and there's just so many beautiful things to see. And you said Wild West creations? Right. Okay. We do do, I do make custom orders. Custom orders, okay. I make them up to 36 inches. I noticed the kids where make out of vine, mm -hmm. about the AB, and they okay. have like, like um, five, eight different kinds of vines and stuff. Most of these feathers are, uh, uh feathers, uh, feathers, things like that. that okay. This booth was of course one of my favorites because of the dream catchers. I was able to pick up one of the larger dream catchers here and of course I got one of these dream catcher necklaces. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? We're, uh, you know, the I don't know if, if you're familiar with aquaponics, but it's fish poop. And we, fish poop. <laughs> we, we fertilize everything, with, it, it floods and drains, it's a, it's a recirculating water system. Really? Um, we use worms in the grow beds to eat the fish poop solids and to add vermiculture to the to the root systems. So this is our lineup. It's all farm to bottle and love the ladybug. Oh yeah, pesticide free, fungicide free. We we put ladybugs and praying mantis in the garden every month to eat all the pests. So this is our original. This is a nice uh, spicy sriracha style sauce. This is our verde. Um, it's a medium, basically. Hot pepper infused vinegar for your barbecues, collard greens, rice and beans, what, what not. With. This is our hottest one, the Captain's Rage. Oh, Normally the stuff. Captain would have compassion on humanity, but like not in this case. Uh, this one is really a special sauce too. This is liquid aminos. 
Bragg's liquid aminos, if you're familiar with, uh, you know what li liquid aminos? Okay, it's a soy alternative. This is our balsamic, uh, onions, oh, carrots, sweet kinds. peppers. This is roasted garlic, habanero, fresh squeezed lime, and sweet peppers. This is pineapples and mangoes for fish tacos and Mexican food. And these two are breakfast sauces. This is a blueberry and honeydew wow. melon. And this is apple, pear, and cinnamon. This is also going to be fantastic for Thanksgiving, great for turkeys and whatnot, but they also work on desserts, which is why we have the wafers. This hot sauce booth was hubby's favorite booth. So we're not using waters uh, or anything to thin it out. You're just getting pure fresh pepper flavor on this right. thing. There we go. Um, and you, you'll taste the difference. It's, it's, it's a great fresh hot pepper flavor. Pretty good stuff. It's not super hot. It's not no. going to melt your face off. Yeah, it's no, but it's got no the flavor. It. And it's a sneaker. It's gonna, it's, it'll build for a little bit. Now this one also pairs really well with cheeses, like bagel and cream cheese. Um, it's great on pancakes and uh, bacon and eggs. Air Oh, that's really good. How much is it? $12 a bottle. If you buy three bottles, we throw in our spicy salt, which is a collection of all of our hot peppers, which we've dehydrated. I am not a hot sauce fan, but I will take his word for it that it was absolutely amazing. Then you head on to the center of the festival where there is the antique barn, which I love visiting. I always find at least one thing to take home with me. This year I loved this post office sign and some of the different things they had hanging on the walls there. I regret that we did not have a bigger vehicle with us that we could take home this beautiful hutch. I absolutely fell in love with it, but there was no way that we could get it home or get back up in time to pick it up later. After that, you move on to the food section and they have everything from walking tacos and pizza and macaroni and cheese grilled cheeses. Think about that. Gator bites, Philly cheese steaks, corn dogs, burgers, lemonade, sweet tea, pretzels, and everything and while we were eating we were treated to this show from the tight rope walker and there was absolutely no nets underneath of her let me tell you i i think my heart stopped the entire time i was watching her do her thing but the kids absolutely loved it and they had so many different stunts and shows going on throughout the day and as you can see there absolutely no nets underneath of her and she just walked right over most of the crowd for her show my younger kids got to take this tractor pulled train and they absolutely loved it. It was only $2 a kid and they got to do the train ride a few times. My older kids got to do the zip line, which you can see the green stairs back there. They had a blast with that. There is a bigger train on train tracks that go around one of the fields and that is available for all the family. They have these little rolling bubbles that roll in water for lack of a better term and all sorts of shows like the jugglers there they have these different shops this is looking down towards gate three they have the train there they have hay rides there in the back along with all the other food and drinks they have this antique car show which had new cars old cars cars that were purely decorative and you could go and check them all out and talk with the owners and get all the info about them. The kids loved walking around and seeing some of them that were kind of decorated inside a little bit. And that was mostly to appease all the husbands that were there. There was this guy who does chainsaw decorations, these little bears. I've seen them do this in the Smoky Mountains. I've never actually seen them do this here in Florida. So it was really fun to see and to watch. He was so talented. A few other notable things and activities that you can do are a corn cannon and a pumpkin cannon. They have a gunslinger monster truck show and a fearless motorcycle show. They have a corn maze and a Walker Brothers circus. There is a motocross show and a BMX stunt show. They have a butterfly experience and a wall of death. They have several different stores scattered throughout the property as well as ice cream and other food that are there all year round. There was a rock climbing wall and some trampolines. Also, each day of the festival, they have different show times, different shows, everything from a kid's corner that has a luau. And then the last day of the festival, kids can come dressed in costumes and go trick-or-treating in the evening. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and bell icon to get more notifications of videos just like this. Also, please check out the videos that are on your screen now for some more content I know you will love, and I will see you in the next video.